Hey guys, so today I decided to do a favorites video and I guess this, this is the favorites for July, I think. Oh my gosh, it's already August or almost August, that's crazy. And I have a lot, um, there's some beauty, hair, um, skincare, just things like that. And I hope y'all don't mind the kind of more casual, laid back feel. Um, today's been kind of like a lazy day and I haven't been doing much, so I just have this zip-up jacket. This is from, where did I get this? Oh, the hair in my mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh. Um, I think I got this, maybe like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's like super casual. It has like this cute print on it and it's super comfy. I'll just get started because I'm like talking too much. So first I have, I'll just start with skincare because um, that's like the first thing you do before you do your makeup. But um, I only have a few things. This is kind of my everyday um, skincare routine and it's helped my skin a lot. I uh, used to have really bad like acne prone skin. I'd just break out like with anything I use, I'd just break out horribly and I couldn't figure out a way to like fix my acne and like help it kind of just go away and clear up until I, I was doing a lot of research. I heard about these, um, this Michael Todd um, brand and I have three things that I use in my daily routine. And the first thing I use is the um, Charcoal Detox Deep Pore Gel Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. It smells kind of like, um, like really clean. I don't know how to describe it. Like clean and fresh. But as you can see, it's like black on the inside. Um, and it really just like, it foams up really good and it like makes your skin feel so clean and like refreshed. It gets all of the dirt and stuff off. So I love this stuff. And then I use the Michael Todd Blue Green Algae um, Antibacterial Toner. And I have used like kind of a lot of this, but um, it's highly moisturizing, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial. And it says it's for all skin types and aids in treatment and prevention of acne. And um, this smells really, it's interesting. I don't think it's everyone's scent, but it's like kind of minty and fresh. I don't know. It's kind of it's hard to explain, but that's what it looks like. And it's a huge bottle. Um, it's 8.4 fluid ounces. So it multivitamin vitamin serum. And this was pretty expensive. These two weren't as bad. They were like in the 20s, but this was like 34. And the scent. When I first got it, I wasn't a big fan, but I kind of got used to it, and it just kind of just smells like, like kind of medicine, medicine y That sounds so bad, but um, it does feel like you're putting on like medicine on your skin to help it. You know what I mean? So um, this just says it repairs and prevents future damage. And this is like, if you don't know what a serum is, it's kind of like a, I don't want to say oil because that sounds so bad for your skin, but like a. Um, it's not a moisturizer, it's more of like a gel kind of, um, here I'll get a little on my finger. It's like that, and it's like this, but look how cute the bottle is. I, I totally got sold on the bottle, but, um, I did want something to, like, clear out my pores, because I have huge pores, I don't even want to talk about it, but, um, it's like a pink color. It's not like your normal ugly green mask. It's a cute pink color. But, um, and it smells really good. It smells like strawberries. But, um, I use this once or twice a week. And it just kind of, um, makes my skin super soft feeling. And it minimizes my pores. It doesn't completely, like, take them away. But, um, it does shrink them and makes my skin super smooth and really awesome. Next, I'll just start off with, um makeup I have a, a kind of a lot I don't know why that's in there but I kind of have a lot um, of makeup in my favorites but I've been loving these kiss lashes these you can get oh gosh these you can get at like drugstores um, I get mine at Walgreens but I'm sure you can get them at like Cevia I keep dropping them <laughs> next is mascara and 
probably a lot of you are like, why do you like mascara? Like you wear fake eyelashes. But I do, I do like to just wear mascara some days and like lip balm. Like it's not, like I don't get all like dolled up like this every day. Like in reality, I rarely wear makeup. Um, but like when I go to work or like some like somewhere special like go out on a date with my boyfriend like I like to you know get dressed up and wear my lashes and stuff like that so for mascara um I've been loving this like you can't even see it it's a super sizer by covergirl and this is gone I probably need to get a new one it's like almost gone yeah it's not completely gone but the brush is so unique like I'm gonna try to focus it but it's like so like different from any mascara I've ever tried out in my life. It separates your lashes and makes them look so long and volumized. It's just like the best mascara ever. So I'd recommend that and it's like five bucks so you can't go wrong. Next is a setting powder and this is the Revlon Colorstay Translucent Powder. And it's, what it, it's just white. A translucent means like clear if you didn't know but um it just sets so well under my eyes i don't use this for um like setting my whole face because it, it does come off a little like um uh, like it goes on your skin a little lighter than your actual foundation if that makes sense so i just like to put it under my eyes where i highlight and like down my nose a little bit on my forehead and my cupid's bow and then I set the rest of my face with just like um like other powder and next product is the um these are like the new oh my gosh oh where's my eyelash in baby love and these are the new um oh, they're so cute like look how cute the packaging is it's like a little heart with gold writing that says Too Faced but um this color is just like screams me like I love these types of colors that are kind of like a nude pink it'll go with everything it's just like my Amo or my uh, Tarte Amazonian clay blush and exposed like it's just the perfect shade for every skin tone every makeup look just everything it's the perfect shade but this is in baby love Dexter lay down <laughs> he always seems to make a debut Dexter come here come here Look! Look at the camera, Dexter. Do you like to come in my videos? Do you like to see? Do you like to see the camera? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Next is a lipstick, and this is a Mac lipstick. And some of you are probably like, no. But this lipstick is so pretty. This is in high tea. And it's like, it looks like a, just a piece of gold on a lipstick tube. But it's more than just a lipstick. It's like, God, I am not even kidding. Like, oh. it just like makes me want to cry. Look how pretty that is. It's like the perfect shade when you don't want to like make it obvious that you're wearing lipstick. Like, it just gives you, like, a nice sheen and glowiness to your lips. It's, like, this is, like, the lipstick I would have for the rest of my life. Next makeup product is the NARS um, Paloma. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. I'm just letting you see what it is, what the name is. But um, this is, like, a little uh, contour duo. It's a contour shade, and this is like, I don't use this as much. Well, yeah, I guess I do. But um, this is the contour shade, which is like the perfect um, cool tone. You can't even see it, but I'm wearing it today. It's just like the perfect ashy contour shade. Like, it's just amazing. And it blends out like a dream. It's just like, some people are like, Oh my gosh, like, I love video games. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love contour shades. That's just how I feel about this. But um, this I, I got a long time ago. I think I got it maybe either last year or the year before that. But this is the Chanel um, Tan... Wait, Soleil Tan de Chanel. 
and it looks so dirty I need to clean it but it's like a it's a cream bronzer that's what it looks like and as you can see it's like this will last you like your entire lifetime like if you get it like when you're a newborn and you, it'll last when you're like 100 years old but um it's like a people like a lot of people just don't know what to do with cream bronzers but like it's so not like bronzery that wow that totally no if you already have like tanned skin like you can be messy with it like you can just like like it'll totally just work out for you it's just like makes your skin look so glowy like you just got back from the bahamas and you're like you know just like bronzed goddess like you have no idea like this will be the best fifty dollars spent on a makeup product ever okay i'm almost done i promise only have three more things but um these next two things are hair products and um i don't like to wash my hair i'm just kidding. i'm just kidding i like to wash my hair but sometimes i just like feel like it looks better if it's sturdy you know what i mean like i don't know if y'all feel the same way but i just feel like it looks better like more volumized more like texture i don't know but um so i i could skip like three days or four days without washing my hair um but i mean of course it's gonna look oily so you gotta use batiste dry shampoo this is the um batiste they have a bunch of them in this line but this is the Batiste Light and Blonde hint of color. And I have blonde hair. So I decided to get this one. Just like kind of do this. My hair is like totally falling out. But uh, not falling out. <laughs> falling out of my braid. That's what I meant. But I just do that and I like just kind of like mess it around. And then I brush it out and it gives you like beautiful volume. Looks like you just washed your hair. It's just amazing. I love this stuff. Next is um, this Joyco <laughs> Joyco Hair Shake Liquid to Powder Finishing Texturizing Spray, and um, my mom's a hairstylist, so she was using this on my hair, and she had an extra one under her counter on like her station, so she gave it to me, and it's amazing. It's like liquid. It's weird. It's liquid. You spray it at your roots and it kind of turns into like a powder. It's weird. Like, but it's awesome and it smells like you have no idea. I would use this as a perfume. You have no idea. Like, this smells like heaven. But it like gives you such good like volume and like, like you don't even have to tease your hair, which I hate teasing my hair because I hate brushing it out. I feel like I'm like brushing out my hair like into pieces like I just hate teasing my hair but this perfume um this is the Burberry summer uh edition Burberry sheer summer edition I think look how cute the bottle is it's like it's like the classic plaid and it fades into a white kind of opaque white color and this smells like so good it's like um like can't even explain it I don't even know like flowers and vanilla it's just oh, that completes my July favorites I hope you all enjoyed and thanks so much for watching bye guys